want to thank all of you for being here today. And I want to especially thank the members of NDAC and of CAUSE, the municipal politicians here in Melanchthon Township, <laughs> the farmers, the residents, the citizens who have stood up and fought this mega quarry from day one. You inspire me. You inspire me to be involved in politics. And I want to thank you for what you have done to stand up for the natural and cultural heritage of this community and our water and our farmland. We wouldn't have an environmental assessment at the provincial level if it hadn't been for your efforts. And you deserve all the praise for making that happen. And I just want to say it's been an honor. It has been an honor to work with you on this. I'm just going to point out Carl, who, because uh, there's so many of you I could point out, but Carl, I first met you in Hornings Mills, and I got to pet your horses on the lawn of Queens Park. <laughs> and I want to say it has just been an honor to stand up and speak and fight with people like you. And this is personal for me. It goes beyond political, to be honest. It's personal. I grew up on a farm, and I know prime farmland when I see it. And this is more than prime one farmland. This is the primest of the prime farmland, and we cannot let it be destroyed by a mega quarry. As many of you know, I have a home right up the road in Dunedin, and the noisy river goes through my backyard, and it, like the Pine River, will be one of those rivers directly affected by this mega quarry. And I think it's unconscionable that we would even consider, one, destroying 2,400 acres and potentially 9,000 acres of prime farmland. But it's even more that we would consider destroying the headwaters of the major river systems of southern Ontario. The, our drinking water, our children's drinking water, and the drinking water of future generations. There is no way that our parents and grandparents and, and previous generations would have ever allowed that to happen. And we cannot allow it to happen in our generation. I want to make it absolutely clear to everyone here today, and especially to the media, the Green MPPs will fight this quarry to the very end. We're going to stand with this community, whether we're elected or not. And we are going to fight with you. We're going to hold the government's feet to the fire on an environmental assessment. But we're going to go beyond that. Because to be quite honest, it shouldn't take a citizen's movement and the stress and the millions of dollars and just everything that you've had to go through to wake this government up to have an environmental assessment. That's wrong. We're going to fight. We're going to fight to change the Aggregate Resources Act to ensure that something like this never happens again in this <coughs> province. Every mega quarry should be subject to an environmental assessment, period. Absolutely. Period. <laughs> we need to ensure that we start recycling and reusing aggregates in this province. I don't know what you've seen, it, but we're building a bridge to Rochester in Toronto. It's called the Leslie Spit. And because we're not recycling and reusing aggregates, that's where they're going. And instead, they're proposing tearing up prime farmland, and that's wrong. <laughs> if, Europeans can re if Europeans can recycle and reuse aggregates, Ontarians can too. Mm -hmm. We're going to change the Aggregate Resources Act so our water and our farmland take priority over our gravel. And we will work with the aggregates industry. Because we need aggregates. We all know that. We, we need aggregates. But you know what? There are responsible companies out there right now working with environmental groups to develop green gravel standards. And green MPPs will make that happen.
I want to conclude today by just saying that we have a champion in Ottawa. And it's a, she's a champion that has shown what's possible when one Green gets elected. And I know, I've seen her tweets, and I've talked to her on the phone and by email. She is 100% behind this community. She's going to take this issue to Ottawa, and she's going to make sure that we have a federal EA and a joint panel to help stop this thing at every level of government. I'd like to welcome Elizabeth May, the leader of the Green Party of Canada.